Today I'm going to be playing a game made after one of my favorite TV shows, South Park, and that is South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now I will warn you guys now, if you are easily offended, I recommend that you do not watch this video because this game does contain a lot of offensive themes. Without further ado, let's get started on the Platinum. Now the first step to Platinuming this game isn't really a straightforward one. There is a lot of things that I have to keep after. There are a lot of collectibles in this game and you have to collect every single one to get this Platinum including things like equipment and a collectible called Chin Pokemon, which is something that is making fun of obviously Pokemon. And you also have to make a certain amount of friends inside of South Park. So as I am playing through the game, I have to make sure to pay attention to every missable friend from the very beginning of the game to the end of the game. Look out for any missable Chin Pokemon. Look out for any missable equipment throughout the game. Also, while I am playing the game, I have to make sure to not sell any items throughout the entire main story. This is for a trophy called For the Horde. Also for a trophy called No Child Left Behind, I have to make sure to complete the game and never end a battle with my buddy knocked out. For a trophy called Mastery, I have to be sure to fully upgrade one of my abilities of my choosing. I have to interrupt five channel attacks over a course of the game. You guys will see what that means. And then I have to make sure to crap my pants during a boss battle. Again, you guys will see what that means throughout the video. As well as I have to keep track for multiple missable trophies throughout the story. I will explain what those are when we get to that point in the game so at the beginning of the game i had to create my beautiful character there he is right there perfect so one trophy that we are going for it's also a collectible type trophy we have to open every garage that is openable inside of south park so the first garage that i opened is obviously my own house right here and then the first thing we did in the game is met up with my boy butters and we got our first friend which was butters Hey, thanks, Butters. You're one of, what, 121 friends we have to get or some crap like that? After we meet up with Butters, we meet the Grand Wizard. Obviously, that is Cartman. And once we meet up with Cartman, he shows us the kingdom of Koopa Keep. All right, so here's a friend that is missable, Clyde. Apparently, he unfriends you. So he, it, it's 121 friends, but it, at the end of the game, it says you have 120 because he unfriends you. We also got a friend request from Scott Malkinson right there. And then we got a little side quest for Kenny right here. This was for simply just picking up a daffodil that was in Cartman's backyard and bringing it to him. And then we also got Kenny as a friend as well. All right, so we're going for our first missable trophy right here. This one is called acceptance. And no matter what in the game, you're called douchebag. So you just got to press yes twice for this and then you'll get the trophy acceptance there it is you accepted your fate and chose the name douchebag yourself okay and then here's another thing we have to do for a trophy i wanted to play the game because i played this game twice i finished it um and both times i played as jew because the first time i i don't know why i chose jew because it was funny and i got familiar with class so the second time i played it i picked it again i wanted to play this playthrough through mage but there's actually a trophy that you have to get that involves being the class Jew. So I guess I'm playing as Jew as a third time. Welcome to the KKK douchebag the Jew. What a sentence. <laughs> what a sentence right there. All right, so now comes our second trophy where that that piece of t that turd that we laid before, we just have to throw it at an enemy. And I'm pretty sure we get another trophy. There we go, made this for you. You flung a turd of your own creation at an enemy. Perfect. After we defeated all the elves, we are then set out on a quest to go recruit Tweak, Token, and Craig. First thing I would do was open my second garage, which was Cartman's garage. And inside Cartman's garage was my first Chim Pokemon, the first one out of 30. Moving on a little bit, we got a friend request from Dougie right here. Then I went into Butter's house and got a friend request from Mrs. Stotch, as well as Mr. Stotch. And then since I finally got my bow, I could finally shoot down this Chim Pokemon right outside of my house. Now, I'm not going to be showing you every single collectible that I do collect. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the process of getting every collectible in the game and how it went. Moving on a little bit into the game, I did a side quest for Priest Maxi. And as I explained before, the whole reason why I chose the Jew class was for this trophy right here. And that was to talk to Jesus as a Jew. All right, so this trophy right here is literally the only reason why I chose Jew as my class. And we have to find Jesus as a Jew. And, uh, press X. Man, there we go. Are we cool? And Priest Maxi and <laughs> Jesus becomes our friend. Okay. Okay, so this next trophy coming up is pretty funny. We got to turn into Jesse from uh, uh, Breaking Bad. We got to put on this evil Cartman goatee. And then we also, where is it now? We also got to put on this bald cap <laughs> to do this next quest. 
And we are literally Jesse from Breaking Bad. All right, so this should give us a trophy named Heisenberg after we defeat these guys. And right after we defeated the meth heads, the trophy would pop. And there we go. <laughs> oh my God, that picture is great. You defeated the meth tweakers while wearing the evil carbon goatee bald cap Heisenberg. That's a great trophy. After we were done with that, we would go on to recruit Tweak, which was the first step in our quest. So after that, I was doing a couple of side quests. I was doing this side quest inside of Skeeter's bar. The quest was to clear out Skeeter's cellar of all of the rats, and I got my first combat-related trophy, which was called Shutout. There we go. There's the shutout trophy. That's what I was trying to get before. All right, so we got it with these rats. Okay, cool. So after that, I went ahead and recruited Token, and obviously the next step was to recruit Craig, but he was in detention. So to do that, we would need to raid the school. So Cartman taught me some magic with my butthole, which was very cool. And after we learned that magic, our next step was to fart on an NPC 100 times. So I went ahead and did that. Oh my. Is that Spanish? Thank you. <laughs> Canadian handshake. You've borrowed on people a hundred times. Thank God. <laughs> oh my, is that Spanish? So the inside of the school was a part that I could not return to. So there was a couple missable stuff inside of the school, including some Pokemon and some equipment. So I had to make sure to look out for that. But inside of the school was opportunity for a couple combat related trophies. One of those trophies was farting on an enemy that was knocked out 10 times. <laughs> Oh, there's another trophy. Stay down. You fought on 10 enemies in the world that were knocked out. Some of the trophies in this game are hilarious. And then finally, it was time for our first boss, which was the hallway monitor. I made easy work of him, and after I did that, I got my first story-related trophy, Daywalker. After we broke Craig out of the school, it was now time to head to the home of the giggling donkey. Before this, Cartman taught me some new magic. Hey, there we go. We got a new trophy. You unlocked all of the upgrades for a new kid ability, Mastery. I just uh, upgraded the Sling of David to Max. is a really good move. This is also a really good move right here. Circums Circumscythe. What a name. But yeah, uh, once we can upgrade that one, that one's definitely the next one that we're going to start upgrading. So going into the Giggling Donkey, we would finally meet who the Bard was. Mag magical songs have been me. With magical songs of enchantment. After we defeated the bard's minions, we would then have to save the Grand Wizard. And during this fight to save the Grand Wizard, we got another combat related trophy. Skilled Defender. We got another one. Over the course of the game, block 100 attacks. Okay, I got hit doing that, reading that one. I didn't know what that one was. All right, cool. We got that one done. So after a little bit, I would get into the attic of the Giggling Donkey where I would go for another combat related trophy. Shoot it over there. Boom, Dragon Wrath. There we go. You knocked out three or more enemies with a single fart outside the battle. So that's another one down. And then now it was time for the boss fight against the Bard. All right, so here I have to crap my pants. Literally, I have to take a giant dump in my trousers. I don't know why I said that. But yeah, we just eat this mana potion. And yep, irritable bowels. There we go. You shat your pants during a boss battle. There we go. Overload of mana. Makes us do that. Does that make us lose a turn? Okay, it doesn't. All right, good. After we defeated Jimmy, we would go back to Carmen's and we would get another trophy. Hey, new kid on the block. You. <laughs> That's not a trophy I want, okay? That's not a trophy I want. After that, it was time for bed and we would go into one of the most messed up parts of this game. So in a reference to the show, we would get captured by aliens and uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, can't really say much after that, but in this spaceship, this is a missable part of the game. Once we are finished with this part, we cannot return. So there was a lot of stuff I had to look out for, including equipment and chip Pokemon. So after going through this spaceship, we would save Randy Marsh. We get him as a friend. We would then go on to defeat all of the alien pilots pilots and matrix causing the ufo to crash into south park and then getting another story related trophy first day in south park there's a trophy you completed your first day in south park another story related trophy we're doing pretty good so far 21 percent so after that i went for another miscellaneous trophy and this one was for farting on an animal 25 times so here we go again 
There we go. There's a trophy. Animal cruelty. You, you farted on animals 25 times. Jesus Christ, man. All right. We should get another trophy here for collecting our 15th Chim Pokemon. There we go. Chim Poco Loco. So after that, we would get taken to the Elven Kingdom where we will meet up with Stan and Kyle. Next, I would get Stan as a buddy, which I needed to do for another side quest. And that was to defeat Shelly. During this boss fight, though, we would get another trophy called Weapon Proficiency. Weapon proficiency, okay. Over the course of the game, you scored 100 perfect attacks. All right, cool. Oh, 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 what the heck? What the hell? I did not expect that at all. What the hell? So now moving farther into the main game, we had to recruit the goth kids. While doing that, Randy teaches us a new magic trick, and Randy Marsh decides to cream Mr. Mackey. Very, very good. He just knocked out Mr. Mackey for no reason. Hey, yo! Mr. Mackey's dead corpse just laying on the ground i love those things after that we would then have to sneak into the site of the crash ufo aka the new taco bell where then we would start playing some call of duty zombies as we had to go against some nazi zombies all right so i now should be able to add all of these people on this podium as a friend so there's mrs bravlowski and i should get a trophy for this as well Principal Victoria, and there it is, more popular than Jesus. You made friends with half of South Park. We have 61 friends, but 62, I think, is what we got cumulative throughout the game. But like I said, uh, Clyde unadded us as a friend. Dude, Man Bear Pig needs to stop messaging me. Or Al Gore, I mean, about freaking Man Bear Pig. God damn. After that, we would finally recruit the goth kids and get another story related trophy. <laughs> Nonconformist, you befriended the goss like everyone else playing this game. Yep. After that, once again, we had to storm the school to find the stick of truth. And again, there was a lot of miscellaneous equipment, chip Pokemon, and friends that we had to get here as we cannot return to this section of the school after we finish it. So right here in this little boss fight section, the ginger kids turn into Nazi zombies. And I thought this was the perfect opportunity to go for another combat trophy. All right. So in this fight, we're going to be going for a trophy named Gingivitis. Uh, so basically what we have to do is let these ginger kids bite us, I think, five times without blocking, and we should get the trophy. I'm using it on Butters. There's the trophy, gingivitis. God damn. <laughs> they, used, they used it all three times on Butters. Poor Butters, man. All right, so at this part of the game, we have to make a choice. We get a choice to either battle Cartman or battle Kyle, and I'm pretty sure we get a trophy for choosing each of them so i'm gonna create a separate save there so i'm gonna i want to go with cartman i don't know why so we're gonna battle cartman first screw you cartman i have the stronger butthole yeah all right so that's gonna give us the trophy elven hero so after that we need to reload the save and do the same thing with kyle my butthole is stronger than your freaking leaf blower sit down is he beating me is he beating me i didn't think so i didn't think so let's go and that should give us <laughs> kkk hero there we go okay so this should be our last garage we need in the entire game we had to open up every garage so we open that and there we go parkeologist you've opened all the garages in south park so cool that is another trophy done and we get the jester's cap so after all that it was time to go to sleep once again it seems like every time you go to sleep it's just a messed up part of the game we'd have to start fighting some underpants gnomes here during this little fight right here i got another trophy that i mentioned at the beginning of the video called rebuttal right here again this was a point of no return section so we had to look out again for more equipment chip pokemon and friends all right so this is an interesting trophy uh this one's called perverted and uh, we have to watch my parents. Parents, yeah. Y you know if you played the game. There it is. During this part of the game, we would collect another piece of equipment, which would give me a trophy shopaholic, which was for collecting half of the available costume sets. So after we did that, we would finally get rid of this dude, Man Bear Pig, AKA Al Gore. He was annoying me the entire game, constantly spamming my chat section. So now at this point of the game, it was time to recruit all of the girls. So to recruit them, they wanted us to go into the abortion clinic and find out who recently in their group went in there and got an abortion or whatever. Another messed up part of the game. But again, this was another section of the game where it was unreturnable. I recommend if you guys are platinuming this game as well to watch a guide throughout the entire game. And make sure to make a save of the game each time you guys complete a main quest. That's what really helped me achieve this platinum really easily. Alright, so we actually get a trophy for farting on a fetus. 
No, oh, there it is. Too far. You farted on the corpse of an aborted. No oh my god, this game. So for the next part of the game, we have to get a passport and cross Canada's border. In Canada, we meet with the Bishop of Banff and the Prince. We actually had a boss fight with the Bishop of Banff. After this boss fight, we actually got a choice to either kill him or just take animal balls because the Prince wanted us to kill him and bring him his balls. So here, what we actually did was take the animal balls because we needed him as one of our friends. And before leaving Canada we would have to go and fart on the minister of montreal finally once we returned to south park the final authority figure that we had to fart on was the mayor so once we did that we got the trophy truth to power after this i did a little bit more collectible hunting inside of the sewers and in the sewers we would meet up with crab people and once we meet up with these crab people we would actually get a trophy for befriending them as well as befriending gnomes which i did earlier inside of the game so setting up for the final boss fight i'll get into what we had to do for that in a little bit i entered tom's rhinoplasty and and purchase the Hasselhoff procedure and once I purchased that I got a trophy called make it rain which was for spending $500 so now we go into the final portion of the game which was Clyde's fortress and again inside of Clyde's fortress there were a couple of missing motion Pokemon a couple pieces of missing equipment and also some friends that we needed to get as well so at one point in the game we would have to go inside of Mr. Slave's butthole yes I know I know and earlier while I was playing the game, I did a side quest for Mr. Slave, which unlocked his summon. And for this trophy, this trophy was called Inside Joke. I had to use Mr. Slave's summon inside of Mr. Slave. So now it was time for the final boss fight against Kenny. Now there were three separate trophies for defeating Kenny while doing certain stipulations. These stipulations were to defeat Kenny with dire aids. I got that from getting attacked by one of the dire wolves, dire bears, or dire snakes in Canada. The next one was to defeat Kenny with the Hoff nose job. I showed you guys that before. That's the whole reason why I got the Hasselhoff. And the last trophy was to wear the makeover disguise that the girls gave you early on in the game. So with all of that equipped, it was now time to face Princess Kenny. All right, yeah, we should get a couple trophies here. Face Hoff. There's one. Two girls, one stick. There's another one. Outpatient. You defeated Princess Kenny while living with dire aids. And that's it for now. For the hoarder, that's the one for not selling anything. No child left behind, that's the one for completing the game without getting your buddy knocked out. And stick savior, you defeated Princess Kenny and recovered the stick of truth, that's just a story mission. So boom, we got all the missable trophies pretty much done. After we completed the game, it was now time to clean up the rest of the miscellaneous trophies that are in the game. All right, all right so the first trophy we're gonna do is uh, get our dad as a friend. Hey dad, I'm uh, David Hasselhoff, now add me as a friend. Daddy issues, there we go, you befriended your father. All right, now we can finally sell every single piece of junk that we have accumulated throughout this entire game that we can sell. Right, we're about to sell a ton of stuff when we go to junk and just start selling everything. We should eventually get a trophy for it as well. There's the trophy, Junk Peddler. That's for, you sold 300 junk items. All right, so we're about to get our final Chim Pokemon in the entire game, I think. So if we go in here, collect this guy. And there we go, Chim Lips. You collected all the Chim Pokemon. That is a nice gold trophy. So that is done for that one. All right, this is another miscellaneous trophy I can go for. I have to fart on a freaking dog. So let's do that real quick. And then, oh, wait, oh, while in gnome form, while in gnome form, that's what I have to do. And gnome form, then do it. There it is, dog whistle. You farted on a dog while in gnome form. So it's another miscellaneous trophy down. We're getting close to the end. The next trophy I went for was a combat trophy. And for this trophy, I had to defeat 20 enemies using Cartman's butt. The next combat trophy I went for was a trophy called Avenger. And for this trophy, I had to defeat three enemies in one battle while my buddy was knocked out. There we go, there's the Avenger trophy. Now while going for that trophy, I was going for a trophy named You Bastards, which was for killing Kenny in 10 separate battles. While going for that trophy, I got another trophy named Pulling Mud, which was for taking a crap in three separate battles. There should be a trophy. There we go, Pulling Mud in three separate battles. You've taken a crap in your pants, okay. Interesting trophy again, South Park, but you know, I'll take it. And then finally, I got the trophy, You Bastards. There it is, you bastards. You let Kenny die. Oh god, oh god, I'm finna still a fight. So that's another one down. We only got like three more trophies to go, and they're all collectible trophies. So uh that is very good. Alright, so if I did this right, this should give me the rest of my friends that I need for the trophy. 
And then we need two more, which is for collecting all the swords and I think equipment as well. There we go, more popular than John Lennon. Now we have two more trophies. We need to collect all the equipment and stuff. And then finally, the last thing I needed to do was to simply just go to all of the shops and purchase all equipment and weapons, which got me my final two trophies. All right, so this is the last thing we need right here. If we go little in here, this should give us the witch robes, which then gives us clothes whore. And finally, full arsenal, which then gives us our platinum trophy, South Park. This oh, look at that new animation. I didn't even realize that in my Minecraft when I was just so done with that one. That's why I didn't even look at it. If you guys want to see any of my other platinums, here's the playlist right here.